Hey, do you know that when, with IVF, you're actually choosing which babies live and which babies die? You don't care? Are you a Christian? Are you a Christian? Well, just so you know, you're a murderer. If you go in and create 30 embryos or 15 embryos and choose which embryos live and which embryos die, that's evil and wicked. The practice of IVF is wrong. You should never choose which babies get frozen or experimented on. It's wrong, man. It's evil. It's wicked. Hi, ma'am. You know that they actually choose which babies live and which babies die in IVF? Man doesn't have dominion over which babies should be experimented on, which babies should be frozen, or which babies should be put in the garbage disposal. IVF is wrong, ma'am. It's a sin. <clears throat> Nobody should choose which babies live and which babies die. It's called child sacrifice. You sacrifice some so you can have one. Do you know that more kids die at IVF centers than in Planned Parenthood? It is child sacrifice. They choose which kids live and which kids get experimented on. And you're part of that process. God says he hates the hands that shed innocent blood. It, God is the only one who has dominion. It is wicked and evil. Ma'am, have you looked at the moral implementations of IVF? Life begins at conception, right? So some get murdered. Some go in the trash. Some get experimented on. It's immoral, ma'am. IVF is wrong. If you're a Christian, you should look at the morality of IVF. Ma'am, you know IVF is child sacrifice, right? More kids die here than at Planned Parenthood. God has dominion over man. Man doesn't decide which baby should live or die. And you work here, right? Well, you go to a place that kills children, right? But still, you work for a doctor inside there, they do kill kids. It's IVF. Right. 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 But they do like 10 or 15 of them at a time. They don't do one at a time. Right. 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 So. So they'll do 10 or 15 of them, and then they'll discard a bunch of them that are already fertilized. No, no, no. They yeah, they do. Right. Right, that's murder though. They chose 15, and they're only gonna use three or four or five, however many they want. They freeze the rest. What do they do with the rest of them? Wait. Right. Like that. Right. But what do they do with the extras that they don't use? They still be in the body. They what? They're in the body. If the body doesn't use it for the pregnancy, they stay within the body. No, they don't send all 15 of them. They freeze them for a second round. Oh, no, I'm thinking that you're saying if they are actually implanting them. Right. Yeah, if they don't implant them, they either throw them in the garbage disposal, right? All right. Yeah, if they chose that or they freeze them or they send them out for experimentation, which we shouldn't do, right? We shouldn't do that. That's murder. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys, have you thought about the moral implement, implications of uh, IVF? Because IVF, what you do is you sacrifice 10 or 15, either they get frozen or they get thrown in the garbage disposal or they go to science and they're experimented on. So you're actually, yeah, but still you're going to a place where they actually take kids because life begins at conception. And if you're a Christian, you know God creates life and you're going to a place where actually they murder children. It's like, it really is evil and wicked. It's like going to Hitler, one of Hitler's doctors for help. You wouldn't do that, right? It is evil and wicked. Think of the moral implementations of it. It's wrong. It's murder. It is murder, ma'am.
child sacrifice takes place here. They sacrifice some kids so you can have one or two.